This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics with another Wednesday lot walk around. Um, today we're going to start right where the action is. So as we showed you last week, we're working on this uh, American flag here on the ceiling. This is going to be the biggest indoor American flag in Iowa. Um, just finished up, looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, what better surrounding it than American muscle cars. Got it packed in here. Let's, let's start with this beautiful dart. This one, Dalton, we kind of showed a little bit ago, maybe last week in the walk around or two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago in the walk around. Just going through uh, these cars here to get on the website and get them ready to go. This one's got 19,000 original one owner miles and is in fantastic condition. I mean, just a little six cylinder with power steering, but fantastic condition throughout. That thing's sweet. And then this uh, numbers matching big block 72 satellite. Factory 400 car, you don't see that very often. And sitting beside it, it's one I just put on last night. This 1973 Plymouth Satellite Roadrunner clone. I'll tell you what, this little 318 just flies down the road. You'll have to watch our uh, drive video on it. Kick down works great. Uh, just a little 318, I think probably still a two barrel, but it's still just, it, it's a sweet car. Yeah. That thing's sweet. We got a whole nice line of Mopars. Yeah. And then a little Plymouth Scamp here. Another low mileage original paint car. So original paint on the Dart, original paint on the Scamp, um, and just a really nice uh, repaint done on the satellite. So these three Mopars here all came from the same uh, previous collection. Very cool. This is another one that you, you fell in love with when you bought. Tell us yeah, about this thing. I mean, somebody spent a ton of money restoring this El Camino. Um, another cool thing I've seen, I love the 80 El Camino, like the back glass, how it's nice and curved. But if you look at the inside of the box here, look how much, uh, you know, the restoration was done. The, the paint on the top side of the box is just as nice as the paint on the outside of the car. Yeah, this thing's beautiful. This thing, did you just put this on the web yesterday as well? Uh, it's going on yet this afternoon. This has got leather interior on it, man. The door panels, the seats, armrest, everything's leather. Even the headliner, check that out with the, the bow tie up in the headliner. Oh, that's neat. Headliner. Very neat. Yeah. It's got a big block in it too. Yeah, 396. This thing, uh, me and Dave did the video and uh, he had a pretty damn big smile on his face when we were taking this thing sideways. Murphy's joining us today too. This is uh, our mascot, Murphy. He loves these old cars as much as we do, I think. I don't know if he does or not. He hasn't told me, but seems like he does. He likes it here anyway. <laughs> yeah, he this does. This is another car I'm gonna put on the website. It's a 1966 Mustang Fastback. I'll tell you what, we had one of these that went to California probably about three or four months ago. Basically the same color combination, and it's just striking. That dark navy blue metallic with the silver stripes. Now this one's got a five speed, but this one has air. So, That's you neat. know, you can go fast, comfortable, interstate speed with cold air conditioning. Probably the coolest thing is look at the way the American flag reflects on that roof. Isn't that cool? Man, that's sweet. This car is beautiful. I'm excited about driving this, this thing. Is, this thing's got four wheel disc brakes on it. They're Will Woods. Yeah, this thing's set up very nice. Blue on blue, five speed manual. It's got the rally pack, uh, Shelby steering wheel. Now they did a beautiful cologne on this. They did not Most people just do the damn Shelby stripes. This has got the Shelby wheel, it's got the, and it's got the whole Shelby front front end on it as well, so. Beautiful car, and then another beautiful car here, this GTO. This one we talked about a little more in depth last week, but uh, air conditioning car, and a really neat story. I kind of mentioned briefly, um, we took it in on trade. A, grand, a grandfather and his 17-year-old grandson um, had a lot of memories in this car. They traded it for a 70 Judge. Um, which the grandson is pretty excited about. But that's the beauty with these old cars, is sharing them with that younger generation, making some memories with your grandson or, or son, um, like me and my father, Chad, have done throughout the years with these old cars. I'm um, just, they're, they're more than a car. I've yeah, and I did the that. same thing growing up as a kid when I was 15, 16, 17. I've probably mentioned this before. Um, I grew up in the back seat of a 1931 Model A Roadster with a rumble seat, heading to Charles City, you know, seven, eight, nine miles to the nearest town, getting pizza, just having a lot of fun with my family. So, you know, that kind of got me involved in this thing. And uh... yeah, for those of you who don't know, Chad's my father and, and I mean, my mom started this place a long time ago. So it's a generational um, love for classic cars. And that's what's so special about these, these machines. I've heard a lot of compliments about this 1966 Chevelle Supersport. Even all our employees walk by it, man. And this is like their favorite car on the lot right now. Uh, gorgeous red interior, red exterior. A shade of red, we should say. Um, four speed, I mean, this car has it all. It's a hard car not to love. Pop the hood real quick, if we got, 
If we got time, we'll showcase that a little bit. Cause it's got a big block under the hood. The numbers matching big block. And just look how the, the restoration was done underneath there. You got, you know, I think it was cleared on the oh, intake and engine compartment. Power steering, power brakes, power top, you know, a working clock, knee knocker tack. I mean, this, this has real deal super sport, has it all, tilt wheel. I mean, so some really nice, basically every option available except for power windows. That's awesome. So, Really nice car. Sitting by another Chevelle here. Did you get to drive this one yet? Yeah, this thing's wicked. So I've got a lot, I've sold a lot of big block Chevelles lately and they're fast, but this thing is ridiculous. This is a small block with aluminum heads. Um, <laughs> it's built for the street, but you can also take it to the strip if you want. It's got a fuel cell in the back, uh, aluminum heads, headers, power disc brakes, MSG ignition. Uh, this thing's freaking nuts. So That's you'll wicked. see the uh, video on this here in the next couple days as well. The car that probably surprises me the most, guys, you're missing one here. 1968 Camaro Super Sport, original red, original black interior, numbers matching, 396, 350 horse. And wait, it's got a four speed and yeah. it's got an eight track player. I yeah. mean, I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but uh, this car's probably been the, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe, maybe, the wheels, maybe the wheels. Uh, yeah, maybe they don't like torque thrust wheels. I don't know, but this car is super nice and very solid. Murph, what do you think? Do you have any opinions? <laughs> yeah. I wish this, you could talk. This Chevelle here is uh, one of my son's cars. It's a sweet, sweet little Chevelle. All right, we'll head back towards the other showroom, but as we do, we got Mustang Alley right here. Yeah, uh, 64 look at that Mustang half. Alley. We just, um, most of these cars are all on except for this little blue one. I'm just putting this on right now. This is a 1964 and a half model, obviously titled as a 1965. Um, it was technically the first year, but they started in, uh, in 1964. It's not too often I like the wire wheel hubcaps, but I really do on this one. It really fits. Uh, this is a California car. It's uh, another supposedly two owner car. Um, very, uh, not many options on it. Still has the uh, 260 two barrel in it. Runs great, drives great, factory three speed. Uh, it's a nice cruiser and very solid. Okay. And back here we got a couple convertibles, the 68 convertible on the right, that's uh, for sale and on the website. And then- um, 67 is sold, yeah. I'm waiting on a uh, one part and that one's ready to go to its new owner. Very cool. And then of course this one we showcased last week as well, beautiful paint on it. And we'll head towards, head towards the other showroom. All right, then as we go in here, you've seen these cars last week as well, 70 Chevelle, check that one out on the website. Hey Charlie, how's it going? 76 Trans Am, that one's on the site as well. Um, this is Lisa, co-owner of Coyote Classics. Oh, hey guys, what's up? How's it going today? What's Good. on the agenda? Good, yeah, I'm just checking out the trunk of this beautiful GTX because we're getting ready for um, our fill the trunk campaign. We're gonna collect a lot of food items and non-perishables, uh, household items to donate to our local green food bank. Um, our food bank is pretty unique because it's not supported by any other larger organization. It's simply and solely supported by our community. Uh, so a lot of the businesses here in town, uh, we're going to be a part of it. We're going to collect food items so we can donate for the holidays so families can have nice things for dinner and for their home. Very nice. So, so you're looking for the biggest trunk on the lot today? Yeah. So we got, look at this. I think, this I think that'll one, work. It's I think a big it trunk. Will fill up a lot of good things for families. Um, so if you're in the area, if you are nearby or in town and you want to donate, we'd love your help because this is a lot of trunk to fill. So we want to fill it up, we bring stuff down, and if you're not in our area, we encourage you to still look into your local areas to donate and support and let's spread good goodness across the world. There's too much negative in the world today. We need more good stuff. Very nice. Yeah, it's huge going into the holidays. It's always nice to, to help out our neighbors and, and keep everybody happy and warm for the holidays. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. All right. Like Lisa said, I know a lot of our viewers are from all over the country. Um, so if you're not close enough to drop some food by here, then go out, find a, a good cause that you can be a part of uh, this holiday season and, and help everyone in need. Doing some decorating over here in the, the brick wall. It's gonna look nice, move the pump around. Very cool. This is kind of new too, isn't it, Dee? Kind of put some uh, more artwork oh, yeah. behind our Trey's welcoming desk area. Yeah, everything's everything's always changed around here. It's, in the last two years, if you've been watching our channel, you've seen huge change with the addition of this showroom, and then not to mention that other one we put on. Um, I mean, just just growing, and that's all thanks to you guys for you know buying guess, our cars, supporting us, and watching videos. It's pretty cool. I got something to add. So I was just walking outside, just got here, 
And uh, one of our ex-employees was walking around, didn't even know how to get in the, the place, and he worked here for like three years. So <laughs> it was pretty cool. So he came in, he's like, why do I find so-and-so? Yeah, everything's and, different. Yeah, it's way different. We've added two showrooms. There's tons of stuff here in the last couple of years, so. It's definitely, if you're anywhere around, it's definitely worth the drive to, to come see us and check out some cars, and we're always happy for, for visitors up here in Green Iowa. It's a town of 1,100 people, so um, it's kind of crazy the amount of stuff we sell all over the world. This Cuda we've showcased in the last couple of videos. We're still waiting feel, to get it through the shop. Yeah, I feel really bad about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I need to get this in here, but now we got snow, so we'll leave it tucked in here for a couple days and work this into the shop here in a couple days. But if you see it and have inquiries on it, call us and we get you some additional information. But. Um, 58 Ford sold. Wait, yeah, we had to leave up. this morning on the 1991 uh, Z28. There you go, awesome. Yeah. I said, said last video, park in your garage, wax it till spring, drop the top and have some fun. This said, car kind of surprised me a little bit. 1974, they only made this one year with the stripe package. A uh, real LT Z28, really, really uh, uh, surprises you. Me too, that's, surprises that's still me. here. It, it does, it's a really cool color combination, built 350, crate motor, it's fast, fun. Um, this is a, a special car here. Just going to take that unique buyer that wants a nice, just turnkey, low mileage car in this 1971 Le Mans. Uh, this little blue Mustang, we just ended up rebuilding the five speed manual transmission, kicked out of gear a little bit in second. Mm -hmm. So we rebuilt that, sold this one, and it's getting delivered on Thursday. So that's one thing, too, that you kind of get with us is a uh, customer came from Omaha, wonderful guy, um, loved it, bought it, but the, they just wanted to jump out of second gear sometimes in the shift. So. You know, it's being a five speed, it's all internal. So we pulled the transmission, free of charge for the customer, sent it out, had the transmission gone through. Um, that's kind of what you get when you when you buy from us. We really care about getting you the best best product. Yeah, we do our best, definitely. Um, we like to think we go above and beyond, you know, but at the end of the day, they're still old cars. So Absolutely. we do the best we can. 1969 Chevelle, got another inquiry on this this morning, talked to them. Thinking about getting this car, buying this car and getting it repainted here locally. So um, we're gonna get that uh, estimate for him here hopefully in the next 24 hours and uh, gonna get it back a hold of us. Cool. I'm really excited for the customer that bought this uh, awesome Hemi Cuda to get this. Um, unfortunately, the weather's not that great, but we're gonna deliver this sometime next week as well. Awesome. My poor Corvette here, I feel really bad about how dirty that thing. is. Yeah. 68 Fairlane. This is a special car, guys. Really cool car. 28,995, really surprised this one's still here. And this car is 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. I mean, what more do you want? 69, 383 Roadrunner, air conditioning, drives awesome. Way less than 50,000 bucks. Here's another one, guys, I think we're missing. We talked about this 1963 Nova Supersport. Uh, fast, fun. You know, we drove this one, I think, about 95 mile an hour. Felt yeah. super safe. Awesome car. That car's awesome and great color combination. We'll do a 360 and head towards the head towards the back shop, see what the guys got going on today. All right, so we jumped right back in Jason's Bay. This thing's coming to the web soon, beautiful car. Yeah, 442, we haven't had a four speed 442 for quite a while, so the 1971 model. Beautiful color too. Yeah, that color really pops. Yeah, you see the trunk? Um, so, this, so this 442 came in, it was pretty dirty. We put the wheel well trim on it. Uh, speckled and clear coated the trunk. I mean, just little stuff that we do really makes a difference to these uh, final product of this, uh, these cars. Put some wheel well trim on it. Jay, what do you got? Give me one word about this car when it came in. Dirty. Dirty. It was dirty. So what are you kind of doing to it? Just mm, trying to throw and wipe the motor down. Straight uh, inside the window. Got the chrome down the wheel. Yeah. The inside looks way better. Yeah, the whole car looks better too. Buffed her out. Sweet. I'm excited to see her done and on the website. Hey, this has got fuel ejection in it too. Do you know that? Yeah, this car is going to be an awesome, awesome uh, price range for it too. Four speed fuel injection, real 442. Looks great. Give us a call. Talk to us about this one. Thanks, Jerry. All right, we got a little uh, Camaro Rally Sport getting a new carburetor. That's why it's in here just waiting for. A car would be rebuilt on it, 64 Comet Cyclone. Charlie's wiping that thing out, down. It's getting ready to, to get delivered tomorrow, you said? Uh, Thursday. We're Thursday. gonna deliver, yeah, tomorrow. We're gonna deliver two cars. We're gonna deliver the, the Blue Mach one that we talked about in there, and then the Cyclone. Both are going to uh, Omaha area. Awesome. What's old Justin working on today? Unfortunately, Hello. Justin has to work on something that we don't want to work on. Yeah, 72 Nova. 
like check to it and figured out that it's got a bad bearing, so we're gonna pull the motor out and, and get it fixed. Build the crank part of it, so put new bangs in it. There you go. Again, guys, perfect example of what we don't like to see happen, but uh, yeah. what happens at Coyote Classics is we see these things. If we see them, we do our very best to, to minimize problems when a customer has them. Unfortunately, we won't raise the price on this. I'm just gonna eat the freaking lower end rebuild of this uh, Nova. Yep. Yeah, so we don't let things pass through here. If we catch things like that, we're not gonna pass them on to the customer. Yeah. So we'll go over to the other shop and see what Mike's working on. How's it going, Mike? Good, how are you? Good, clean up your Trans Am? Yep. Awesome, so uh, you were, worked here back in high school, been here for a while. Yeah, I started when I was, right when I turned 16, pretty much, and worked all through high school. Graduated here from the local high school, and then I moved to Nebraska, worked as a fabricator, uh, building fire trucks. Kind of bounced around a little bit, spent some time in Idaho. Uh, back in Nebraska for a little bit, and now I'm back here. There you go, what was it like coming coming back here? Because I know it was a huge change from when, you know, back in the day to, to what it was like coming back here. What was the biggest change? It, it was like night and day. I, I come back and there's a new addition to the building and, uh, you know, new employees, everybody's great. It, just a whole lot of improvements all, all the way around. Everything is better. Yeah, it's fun. What's your favorite part about, about this job? It's got to be just the cars. I love. I got a passion for this kind of stuff. More of a truck guy, but uh, I like old stuff. I like making old stuff work. Um, Absolutely. Turning wrenches, buffing cars, cleaning them. I love it all. Awesome. Yeah, it's good to have you back, Mike. Yep. Timmy's working on a little Mustang. Well, this car will be neat when it gets done. Fast little. Uh... Pretty nice car. Yeah, it is. It has big motor in there. Looks like it's fast. Should be pretty fast. Awesome. Thanks for tuning into this week's uh, Coyote Classics walkthrough. As Lisa said, do something nice for a neighbor this holiday season. Consider donating to a food bank. Um, have a great week. We'll, we'll see you next Wednesday for another walkthrough. Until then, thanks for watching.